This YCN segment is brought to you by New London Hospital, an affiliate of Dartmouth Hitchcock. This playoff game was played on a cold, rainy evening at Merriman Branch Field in Hanover, New Hampshire. The hosting Marauders have had trouble scoring at times during the majority of the season with a younger team. But over the final four regular season matchups, Hanover has scored a huge 13 total goals. This offensive trend immediately continued into this win or go home first round postseason contest against neighboring Lebanon. Senior captain Carly Kraft scored two early goals while sophomore Pepper Joseph put in her own ball directly off a corner kick. All of this happening before the 15 minute mark. Early this season, these rival teams battled it out at Lebanon and a double overtime tie was the result. So it seemed to be a big relief for the hosts when they immediately jumped out to a three goal lead. In the second half, Lebanon visibly played better with five shots on net and more solid midfield play as they tried to put pressure on Hanover's goalie Bella Bardales. Bella held strong along with her defense, and this soon translated into offense. When Kate Wagner took an assist from Kraft and scored past Raiders goalie Sally Rainey, Kraft added one more goal toward the end of the game to complete the hat trick as the Marauders went on to win 5-2-0. Hanover led in shots on goal 22-6. Rainey played another strong game in net for the visitors recording 11 saves while Bardale stopped three. After the game, we caught up with Hanover's head coach Doug Kennedy as well as Kraft, Wagner, and Bardales to hear what they had to say about the win. Well, I think first of all, both teams had to overcome the weather. You know, it, it's pretty, it was nasty when we started really pouring. We were wet, um, but I think, you know, we came out with, with a great mindset, um, very positive, very high energy, and we, we that translated into the game. We talked about really seeing what we we're gonna do, and it happened, we moved the ball really well, went at them hard, I think maybe they're a little shocked about how hard we came out. It moved well and we got a couple of early goals, which huge momentum um, and just kept that rolling throughout. I think we've continued to work on it in practice. Um, you know, it's something maybe we just didn't have quite down early in the season. We've continued to really try to focus on that and get to the point where we know what we're doing. How do we get to the scoring point? And we've just been able to execute. I think also the fact that we've been able to possess really well is creating opportunities for us. There weren't that many opportunities for Lev tonight. They just play so well and I think they're quiet about it. They're not flashy players but they really, really get it done. I mean, and actually one of our center backs is out tonight, Mindy Wu, but we played really well. And just every time something gets going, we're on it before it gets too dangerous. I mean, I think that today our communication was better than it's ever been. Um, this season, I think we all really knew where we were going to be. We wanted it, we were came out and we were flying, we were pressuring the ball and making smart passes the whole game, so that was great. Yeah, I mean, our defense is just so strong. They all know where each other are gonna be. They cover each other. They're really strong, they're fast. So, you know, they settle us down when we need to be settled down, which is great, and they did a great job. Yeah, I think we just need to continue wanting it, being hungry for more goals, you know, keeping up the pressure and just playing well. I think that if we go out there and we wanna win, then we can do it. I mean, I think that any victory is sweet, and. You know, I know a lot of those players, and I feel sad for them because it's the end of their season, but I'm um, definitely excited to take them in on this one. Well, I know we're all pretty nervous going into this game because, like, it's Lebanon. These are our neighbors. These are our rivals, and it's always a really fun game against them. And I think the most important thing for us is that we came out really strong, and our warm-up was good, and going into the game, we are all so focused and so energized and so ready to play that our press when we came out at the beginning, our like shots, like, we were just working so hard and we put three in and I think that boosted our confidence and then just like that continued throughout the game and I was like so proud because we've been working all season on finishing and we've struggled a little bit to put goals in all season so to get five against a really good team and a really good goalie was really big for us. We always talk about how just like to forget about it, like both teams have to deal with it. And I personally love playing soccer in the rain. I think it makes it more exciting. I think it makes it more fun and more intense. So it wasn't, I don't really feel like it was something we had to overcome. There's just something we had to accept and move on from. I think our defense is one of the strongest parts of our team. We have some older players like Sophie Miles and Mindy Wu. We also have some new players, some younger players, and they have just acclimated to the team and to the varsity level so well. And I'm so proud of them. And they are just like Emma Teisinger because our usual starting center back, Mindy Wu, was actually injured for most of today, so Emma Teisinger stepped in 
beautifully, so confident, so calm, and it was just so great to see that for her. So I think that our midfield is one of our like strongest assets. I think we're super strong all around, but um, I think Kate and Carly really bring our team together because, well, they're captains and they just know the game really well. So we were actually missing one of our key defenders, Mindy Wu. Without her, we did really well. Lebanon's season comes to an end. While Hanover picked up their 11th win of the fall, the Marauders will next host Oyster River, a team they beat by a slim 1-0 score back on October 14th. One, two, three, two! Woo! Let's do it!